Welcome back to one of my videos and welcome to Vlogtober, period. But today, I'm going to show y'all like a little reset routine, some of the little reset. I'm not doing nothing. We about to cook and get my landed together for bed. I just got to get my little bouquet or whatever. Oh, that's sick, baby. Her medicine is on her uh, dresser thing. But yeah, I just got my little bouquet and stuff together. I'm about to clean up all this mess. And we're about to start prepping the steaks. I'm making steak and potatoes today. We have salad, bread, and I think you want like fries or something. I don't care for the fries. So yeah, the potatoes and stuff are in the oven. I'm about to prep this steak. Let it marinate for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Until just about before the potatoes get done. And then I'm going to also make a cheesecake today as well. So... We giving y'all the works, okay? And then obviously I need to get this kitchen cleaned up, straighten up the living room, and then also have homework to do tonight. And I gotta wash clothes, just like get prepared for the week. So we're gonna do that today. Go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. If y'all like this video, comment down below some October ideas because y'all know I do the same stuff every day, Monday through Friday. So I just need a little extra little motivation, extra little push. To get these videos out to you guys so if you want them you better comment down below or you ain't getting nothing okay not getting nothing but anyways let's get this thing together putting away her clothes um i did go through all of her clothes today and kind of just like separated all the two little stuff that we wanted to donate and then the stuff that just needed to go in the trash like socks and underclothes we don't donate those okay so that's what i just got done doing we have a 
load of laundry right here that needs to be done and then i think i'm pretty much be done with her room it's not that bad but i do want to do like a whole clean and declutter my toddler's bedroom so that's going to be in another vlog so i'm gonna just leave it how it is i'm off work tomorrow so i ain't really doing too much so that's what i'm gonna do but in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and get these clothes washed and the rest of my dinner started because if i am tired it's currently 7 25 i'm ready to lay it down okay Yes, it is Monday. I haven't really decided what I wanted to do as far as like vlogtober goes because I really do want to like post every day. Okay. I do want to like post every day, but I don't really do anything. So like um just in the middle of like should I post? Should I try to, you know, do something every day just to have something to post? But I don't really like that idea because I love for my content to be like genuine. And I feel like I would just be posting stuff just to say I posted. So I think I'm gonna try to do like a weekly vlog every week in October. I should be doing that anyway, but I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. But yeah, so today is a Monday, you guys, and I got some really, really good news. I y'all will know in a couple of weeks. Um, since I'm doing a weekly vlog, I'm gonna just like update on that topic. Um, whenever we get closer to that week, but I'll be telling you guys really, really soon. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do today. I have some assignments to do and I'm going to cook some tacos. We have to go to the store to get some, I need to go to the store to get some taco seasoning. melina has been asking for marshmallows for a very long time. So we're going to get her some marshmallows as well. And if you are new to the channel and you probably don't know, I love me some tacos y'all. And I love like the flavored taco shells. So we have like spicy cheddar jalapeno and just like some regular nacho cheese taco shells so we're gonna be using those and i low-key want i really don't like hot coffee like on the go i don't know why but i really don't like hot coffee on the go so um i low-key want to get an iced coffee but i have plenty of coffee at home so I don't know we'll see so we're about to go ahead and head to dollar general really quick um i'm wearing this because i don't feel like changing i already took my shower for the day but i'm gonna come home and cook and then we're gonna do some homework together you guys i got a lab to do and lana's gonna really like 
to do the lab with me because she calls them a science experiment which it is so we're gonna work on that after i get done cooking and we get done eating and everything and yeah so get out here okay so we are back from the store i ended up getting me some iced coffee i think i'll be having like caffeine headaches y'all my head is hurt too okay but i can't use the overhead light right now because let me show y'all something is leaking like the ceiling look at the look at the ceiling it's not focusing on it y'all see that like y'all can't really tell but you got the milk it's a leak okay i'm gonna get it it's a leak or something going on so, so I don't want to turn it light on because it is like leaking into the light. So we're just going to leave it off. But yeah, that is what is going on. Fill these up like halfway and then I have to let them sit. So it's not even all the way. Y'all, I thought it was done. It's not even done. So I only had enough for two. So we'll let the steam escape and then we'll come back and do the rest all right you guys so our stuff has cooled down and it has turned into gelatin so we have our seed the science kid here you go say hey hey she has a safety goggles on because she wants to do an experiment but we are going the science experiment yeah. We are going to test All these. three samples, okay? Say one, two, three. Yes. We're going to test three samples. We have our cotton. Then one, two, three, and four, two. Yep. We have three over here and two over here. So we're going to test three things three. to try to one, get some bacteria. Three. So the things that I want to test is the bottom of a shoe. Three. I have some roses here. Stop, that are dead that honestly I should have threw them out probably a month ago but I'm glad I did it because I'm gonna test the water and it's gross and then so we're gonna do a shoe this nasty flower water and I'm gonna scrape the toilet seat so that's what we're gonna do okay and then we're gonna do like a plain q-tip and one of the other ones and then we will also okay We'll do a plain Q-tip, and then we will also we're gonna also just let one of the ones, one of the dishes, stay out in the air and kind of just like collect some data from the air. Okay. Welcome to Tuesday, you guys. I literally only worked like three hours today because I had a two o'clock appointment, and it was just no point in me going back because we didn't have patience. But I'm just not getting home, you guys. I need to clean up this kitchen. Because I didn't do so last night. And child, the house is sick. So I'm about to make some chicken and rice for everyone. Hopefully, like the broth and stuff will get them feeling better.
All right, so I think I had told y'all earlier in a vlog that I got some new pops and I said I wasn't gonna use them, but I wanna use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them now. We are going to be frying up some chicken. The pots are really, really cute, you guys. I'm so excited. Other than that, these are really cute. It's the, the removable handle, so you just clip this on and go. How freaking cute is that? And these are non-stick. They are not dishwasher safe, so I have to hand wash these, but that's not a problem. We about to go ahead and test these out, and I'm gonna let you guys know how I like it. They're supposed to be like non-stick. Really good pot and they're supposed to be able to go right in the oven so that's why i wanted to just go ahead and use these so i don't have to worry about um cooking my chicken in the pan and then getting up oven safe pan so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that Y'all, I didn't outdid myself. Do you hear me? We done made the homemade gravy. And it's crazy because I literally got the gravy packs from the store. But I didn't use it. So we're gonna see if I can get this a little bit darker and then we're gonna put our chicken in. I just seared the chicken on both sides. I didn't really cook it all the way, so it's not done, but I'm gonna let it continue to cook in the oven once all this is done. My problem is when I make these vlogs for you guys, I just don't know when to stop. Like I can't find a good medium of like what I need to show y'all every day. So whatever. We got a candy apple from my job. I'm about to go ahead and bust this baby open cause I want it. I call myself washing my rice right. Cause I saw red somewhere. And it was like, if you wash your rice, it won't come out mushy, right? Or she was like, the reason why y'all rice be mushy is because y'all don't wash it. So, I never wash my rice, right? Never ever. And I've never had mushy rice. So today, I decided to, to wash my rice
This rice. Focus, baby. This rice. Why is it? Y'all. I dropped my camera twice today. I hope that's not messing with it. But this rice might as well be mashed potatoes. Because, baby. So, this Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Did I even vlog on Monday? I don't know. But, I know yesterday I told y'all that I, I wasn't feeling the chicken legs. I wasn't feeling the chicken legs. So, I just went to Walmart so I don't waste the food. I just went to Walmart and got a rotisserie chicken and I'm just gonna shred it up I don't know what the difference is but I can eat shredded uh I can eat shredded chicken legs move you better get down y'all Chloe I'm getting ready to send her to the pound if you don't move but yeah I can eat shredded chicken legs but eating whole chicken it just don't sit right with me so I'm actually going to transfer these chicken legs out so I have some room because I just don't want them like that's just what it is I don't want them so I'm gonna take these chicken legs out and I'm going to just warm up my gravy and um, I'm gonna add a little more gravy to this too since I'm taking some of the chicken out and it's kind of like stuck to the gravy but yeah I'm gonna just take these chicken legs out and shred up this chicken and kind of put it in the gravy and it's gonna be like shredded chicken and gravy because I can't do it I, I just can't I can't do it I can't do it so and I have literally a whole pack of chicken legs so I think what I'm gonna do with them chicken legs is um boil them and make some chicken salad out it's chicken chicken salad out of it but yeah anyways i opened up the vlog so i can kind of tell y'all what's going on so i was going to save this for next week but y'all the family i used to be one of those girls that you know didn't announce my moves until they were like sealed signed and dated but I'm going to just go ahead and be real with you guys. And kind of just like keep y'all up to date on the weekly vlogs. So literally the last weekly vlog that I posted. Which I don't know if it will be the last, the last video. But I had, if you've been keeping up with the channel. I had basically explained that I was becoming burnt out with dentistry. Right? That was on like a Monday. And then that following day when my doctor came back. I realized that it wasn't dentistry as a whole that I was getting burnt out of. It was just simply a doctor had just overwhelmed me that day. That's really all it was because ever since that day, I haven't had any issues or nothing. So it was literally just that doctor that day. We just wasn't having a good day. Neither one of us. So I want to say it was that same week I ended up applying for work from home jobs, right? And... I applied for so many jobs, y'all. I was just so determined to work from home again. Because y'all know I worked from home before. And I just wanted to be at the house, right? So, my mom was made up. I was sick of the doctor. I was just sick in general. And so, my mom was made up. I started applying for jobs. I ended up getting an interview. And just this past monday they called me back and they told me that i got the job mind you i have been waiting for like three weeks to hear back from them i followed up with them and they said they were doing interviews with other people but i should hear something back shortly so i waited like three weeks and i finally heard back from them and they told me um i got the job whatever cool so a complete transparent moment with you guys i make good money yes but when I accepted this job offer where I'm at now at the dentist office, I thought that we were going to be getting 40 hours a week. I'm used to working 40 hours. Like, that's just what I'm used to. This chicken is so good. I need some salt here, but it's good. But yeah. I'm just used to working 40 hour weeks. And so, when I accepted the job, that's what I thought it was. I thought I was going to get my 40 hours. 
that's why I left my work from home job to begin with because you know on paper move on paper they were offering me more than my work from home job was but like I said I thought we were getting 40 hours long story short we don't get 40 hours we get like 32 hours and I mean you know sometimes a break is needed and I really do appreciate having one day off during the week because I can get everything done I don't have to really worry about taking time off or you know that kind of thing so I do appreciate it but I need the money like I really the only reason why I accepted this was because I thought I was gonna have more money than you know my last job so with that being said it was just kind of like I just started thinking like I really not really wasted an opportunity but it was like I took a step in the wrong direction because my checks were coming out the same even though the hourly rate <laughs> stop the hourly rate was significantly higher. It's just I'm not making the 40 hours. So the checks were, you know, roughly the same. Okay, that's the backstory. So long story short, I got hired or I got offered the job for the work from home job. And again, being transparent, I was going to take a dollar and 50 cent pay cut, right? On paper. But we would get 40 hours. So in all actuality, I would be making more working from home when I'll make where I'm at right now and I'll be saving on gas I wouldn't be buying food all the time so overall that was the best decision for me to make so I put in my two-week notice you know I kind of let them know I'll be leaving I got a work from home job whatever so that was on all on Monday I told them that on Monday so today I talked to my doctor and they really don't want me to go and this is exactly why when you go to a job you give it your all I am authentically me at this job like everybody already know me and I just love who I work with I love my doctor all of that so I went to this job and you know I brought some very good aspects to the team and you know they told me that so they offered me a raise to see if I would stay well they just pitched the idea because I work for corporate so everything has to go through the higher-ups so they pitched the raise to me and um he asked me how much I would uh I wanted to make and I told him and he was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think they're gonna go that high. I think it's probably, you know, meeting you in the middle from what you want. And I was like, Okay, that's something I'm gonna have to think about. But I didn't want to go to my calculator right in front of his face because honestly, you guys, I'm not working my career job yet. I mean I could turn this into a career, but I'm just strictly here for the money. You know, I got stuff to do. I got a certain lifestyle that I want to upkeep. And I got to do what's best for me and my family financially. So, with that being said, um, after I got done talking to him for a little bit, I sure did. I went to my calculator. And I started doing some math. And if they give me a $2 raise, I will still be making more at the, at the work from home job than I would with that raise that they were offering me. So, I'm like, no. If y'all not going to give me four extra dollars, because that's what I want. If y'all not going to give me four extra dollars, then I'm gone. Because it just, it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense. If I'm working for it, if they give me four dollars, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because I'll be making more, and I'm only working four days a week. So, I said all that to say, y'all. I just want to keep y'all in the loop. So, I don't know if I'm going to be working from home or not because we're gonna see and the higher up manager come tomorrow and i think she gets you know the final say so and then they pitch it to a higher higher up but at that point if it gets through our our regional manager then the top people really just you know just go with the flow but yeah so we're gonna see what they say tomorrow and come up with a decision and I'll keep you guys updated but yeah I said all this to say you guys for one when you go to these jobs even if it's something that you want to do temporarily you go there and you give it your all every single day because people be looking you know and you don't want to ever burn any bridges so people be looking so yeah I always go to a job and you know be myself and it always works out in my favor every time I'm just seasoning this chicken a little bit more and then I'll make that gravy mixture move. Alright, so it is some time later. I just want to show y'all my food because, baby, I just noticed it way different in them nasty chicken legs. 
Look. I'm gonna take a picture of this because oh my god. Oh my god. That looks so good. Yes. So. Good morning, guys. Y'all, I like the weekly vlogs. I just posted that last video and y'all seem to like it. So I think I'm gonna keep up with the weekly vlogs for you guys. But today is Thursday, October 5th. My birthday is in 20. Girl, I can't do the math. 17 plus 5. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 18 days. <laughs> My birthday is in 18 days, and I don't even have anything planned, you guys. Um, I don't know if I want to get some. I don't know if I want to get some braids or a sewing. I haven't had a sewing in, in probably like a year. But, um, yeah. So, I am currently on the way to work. It is 7.51. And we didn't have any patients this morning. So, shows to come in at 8.30. My schedule shift on... Oh, shit. This was my schedule shift. My schedule shift is 7 to 3 today. So, I was really thinking that I had enough time to go to Starbucks. Yeah, and I really don't because my daughter like to do huddles. So I am still gonna go to Starbucks though, but I'm gonna just go up. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, I'm not going nowhere. Oh yes, I am. Hmm. I took my purse inside, and I thought I had put my wallet in that purse, but luckily I have it in this purse. But yes, yeah, so um, I was watching Beta Zaniel. I think that's her name. Um, and in that video, she had tried to drink, and I tried it yesterday, and it was so good. Um, she got a um, beach. I'm gonna go to the beach. Y'all, Melinda got a little cold, that's why she sound crazy. So crazy. Um, we're gonna see if the medicine works how it's supposed to work. Is that somebody on the bike? Is that somebody walking? Oh, they riding a scooter. Anyway, that scared me. Anyway, anyways. Melena got a cold from somewhere, y'all, and she sounds horrible. I've been giving her medicine all week, so we're going to see how um, the medicine does within the next couple of days. Her voice is still, like, gone, basically. But she the coughing the runny nose all that stuff has kind of like subsided so i feel like it's getting better i feel like we can treat this at home because i feel like when i go to the doctor they're just gonna tell me to give her a cough medicine tylenol and that kind of thing so i'm gonna try to let it run its course as much as much as possible but come monday if nothing has improved as far as like her voice as far as like her voice i'm gonna get her in but yeah, so we on the way to work today. Um, I can't really vlog today at work because like I told y'all, my regional manager is coming in. So today is also the day, well, I don't know if I'm gonna find out today if she gonna give me a raise or not, but today is the day that she sit down and have that conversation with the regional manager about my raise. And yeah, so we're gonna see. I still haven't received the offer letter from the work from home job so um i'm gonna give them until tomorrow i'm gonna get them to tomorrow to send me my stuff and bust a couple off, block out, block out The hitting in the system, you start drunk texting We pop champagne cause we got no, no that man, gold Let me hear you say ya uh. Y'all my birthday coming <laughs> And I wanna turn up, I do I do, I look you wanna go to the hookah lounge And for Halloween dress up, you know Vlad it for you guys Alright, let me go in here cause girl I'm too turned now I'm too turned For my birthday, we turn it up and me and you, you and me, we turn up, okay? Period. All right, bye, y'all. Oh my god, what a day! Y'all, I did go to Starbucks today, but 
I didn't vlog because I actually walked over there with my manager. So, I didn't vlog that for y'all. But it's 3.45. We're getting off early today. So this is my lady. I was to get off at 7. But, whatever. I got two new cups today. So, I just got the classic Starbucks cup. And, um... My beauty. Ah, look how freaking pretty this is you guys like if you know me you know I love me some purple so I got that update so the regional manager um she didn't come today because my man the regional manager didn't come today because we didn't have any hygiene patients um everyone is out sick well the two hygiene patients or two hygienists are supposed to be here are out sick so we didn't have no hygiene running today so yeah, so my manager ended up reaching out to reaching out to her since we they physically didn't get to talk in person. She talked to her over the phone or whatever. And long story short, um, my manager and my doctor that I'm currently working for needs to write like some kind of letter, basically I guess just stating why they feel like I deserve a raise or why they want to keep me, that kind of thing. And then she's gonna like look at the numbers and everything and let me know on Monday. So, fingers freaking crossed. Because, to be completely honest, I don't even think I touched base on like what I would prefer to do yesterday. To be completely honest with you guys, I miss working from home. Um, you know, I just like the whole dynamic of being home, not really having to, you know, get dressed, drive in the morning. I don't really have to take Melinda to the daycare if I don't want to. Just like the whole dynamic and the flexibility of working from home. Um, of working from home. But the reason why I'm so quick to leave these jobs is because the pay was relatively the same. So therefore, it would just save me. Most of the time, it would like save me money to be working from home if I'm getting paid the same you know pay bracket but if they give me this job i don't think there's no work from home job that would give me or if they give me this raise i don't think there's no work from home job that will pay me what i'll be making with this raise so if i can get the raise i'll be more than happy to stay here because i don't even i really love my job i love my doctor i love all the people that's working here sometimes they get on my nerves you know daily struggles but for the most part i really do enjoy it but baby i'm I'm in my bag and I just need my bag. That's really it. I just need my bag. So it's kind of like if they give me the raise, it'll be best for me to stay here because I'll only be working four days a week. I'll still be getting good money and I still get to come to work and do what I love. So that's that. Okay. Anyways, so that's the update on that. Um, sadly, y'all won't know in this weekly vlog. So y'all better make sure y'all got your post notifications on so y'all can get updated on the situation because tomorrow is friday you guys so the vlog is about to be over they're gonna have to wait to figure out what i decided to do and then also i hope i can get this raised because i want to stay here um so yeah if i get the raise i'll be good i'll be straight i'll be excellent okay i'll live comfortably I can afford my lifestyle, okay? Okay. And only working four days a week. So that was really like the pro. Like if I can get paid what I want to be paid and have three days off every single week. Yeah, I'ma love that. So and then you will have more updates in the next week's vlog because um it's getting closer to the deadline for my birthday so like y'all need to know my birthday plans moving plans uh and then working plans i have a lot of major stuff going on right now but yeah okay i haven't really done nothing in this vlog this was like a life update vlog because i ain't said nothing i ain't did nothing what i what i do what i show y'all this week but anyways, if y'all made it to Thursday in the freaking vlog, you guys, drop, let me pick an emoji. Let me pick an emoji. Drop a, some sushi. 
just drop some sushi that's random so ain't nobody gonna think about it but just drop some sushi you guys and that's gonna let me know that y'all want me to keep running back these weekly vlogs but i am having a ball i ain't gonna lie i love my weekly vlogs but i just feel like y'all don't be interested because I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing all week but just work and do homework. But anyways, that's the last point. When I get home, I'm going to clean up and watch the dogs today. And relax because I'm tired. I might not watch the dogs today. I might wait. Oh, we got the full body out. Oh, yeah. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Just joshin'. This holiday locking. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bet to the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song. Give me that tempo. So cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. You can bet a team me a Vincenzo. I like to call it a passion. I can be sitting and relaxing. PG, we getting some traction. I'm at the V, was packing. Today is Friday, you guys. I have drank. This is my fourth cup of water today. So, I had to drink five and a half to get to a gallon of water. So, we're going to try to do that today. But, I ended up getting a grocery order delivered today. And, I got some um, chai tea because I actually forgot how much I enjoy chai. And, I know y'all seen... Well, y'all didn't see, but the drink that I had got from Starbucks is actually a chai tea latte. So, I attempted to get this from Walmart, but it came, like, busted. So, I'm mad about that. And I'm really craving it. I didn't even go to Starbucks to get it today. So, I might just go to Walmart and get... Move. I might just go to Walmart and get a new one. Or see if they have it at, like, Food Line or somewhere closer to me. Um, But, I plan on making, like, some steak quesadillas today. So, I got some um sterling sirloin tip steak i just looked up flank steak and it came up so hopefully this is enough because honestly it's pretty thin but i should be able to get at least like eight quesadillas out of that i don't know i've never really made quesadillas and then i got some lettuce it did turn a little bit because it was very humid outside and i got delivered at two o'clock which i should have did three to four i don't know why i didn't do 34 but that's my fault we got some mal pico de gallo I got some Kinder's taco seasoning or Mexican seasoning. This is the fajita blend. It's actually not. That is so bad, this grocery order. I think I'm going to actually complain because this doesn't make any sense. I tried to get two Mexican seasonings, but they gave me a meatloaf seasoning and a Mexican seasoning. And then my stuff came busted. And anyways, I got some oat milk to go with my chai tea latte. Some tortillas for the um, quesadillas, some queso cheese, some cookies. I needed a new sugar scrub, and I got some fresh sour cream. So, that is on the menu for tonight. I am about to clean this whole house up because I want to rest and relax this weekend. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. And then later on tonight, probably like at around... 7, 8 o'clock, I am going to do Mina's hair because we have a soccer game tomorrow and she has picture day tomorrow. So, okay, so I have my steak all seasoned up and cut up into like little strips. I'm going to go ahead and pop them in the pan. And we finna see on what it's finna do. Walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been flying on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been flying on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low. Mobbing on the low, walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been.
the low Fucking on the low Smoking on the low I still been flying on the low Scheming on the low When I tell y'all this vlog gonna be a bitch to edit, I'm already doing what I'm doing. It's basically a steak, so it's like a, mm, let's try. No, 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 no. Mmm. Mmm. This is my first time making something like this. Whatever, I'm gonna just leave it. Y'all, I literally just woke up. Like, the boy's still crusty. I ain't wash my face. I ain't brush my teeth. Nothing. Um, we decided not to go to uh, move. Keep track. You don't listen. We decided not to go to the target game today since mine is cold and it is colder than it was last game. So I think we made a good call, you guys. But I ended up doing a grocery pickup and it was literally delivered an hour ago. But since it's so cold, I saw all my stuff is literally cold. But anyways, y'all know I'm addicted to the iced coffee, so. Oh, we got it. This is my favorite creamer. I stopped getting it for a long time. I don't know why. I just stopped. But move. But this is my favorite creamer. This is the Cinnamon Dose Latte. I love anything cinnamon. I love anything caramel. Okay. But <clears throat> we got that. And then I thought I would just make like a quick breakfast today. I didn't want to do too much. So I just got some thick and fluffy Eggos. And some bacon. And we're gonna do that. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah. I'ma um I literally cleaned up the kitchen yesterday, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up again from dinner that I had messed up. And I'm going to spend all day editing today. So I low key want to just probably just scrap all the footage that I have. I might still post I might post a video today and tomorrow because I was vlogging. You gotta take a bath. I, I was vlogging a couple of weekend lives, but I never finished them, so I might use that as like a collective vlog. And then y'all get this vlog on Sunday and then we'll be called up. Oh, I woke up at six o'clock this morning because Milena was like sleeping partially in the living room and then when she got up she just wanted to go in her room so I had woke up and like turned the TV on and stuff for her and I was gonna go ahead and take the dogs out realized that Chase had pooped in his cage so his cage is currently outside right now because I didn't want to have to deal with that but I did go ahead and wash him this morning so I was up at 6 a.m. washing the dog and then someone also pooped in Chloe's cage, but luckily they didn't like get all over it. So I got to clean both cages now. And Chloe was due for a bath anyway. So I got to clean both cages and wash my girl because she is dirty. Her paws are so dirty, Chloe. She's jealous. Y'all really got three kids out here. Chase. Chloe really don't like to be healed. She really not affectionate. But Chase, he do. Hey, Chasey man. Hey, my Chasey Lacey. You so soft, Chase. You smell so good. You smell so good, Chasey Lacey. <sighs> Y'all are so big. Chase like to give kisses. Chloe does not. Move Chloe. Don't be jealous. Now he wants she wanna fight her. Fight him. Right. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I ain't doing too much. And this vlog is gonna be so long. 
This is probably gonna be one of my longest vlogs if I don't take out all the footage. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment, big shit down below, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and bell right next to it to notify every time I post a brand new video on the road of 20k, baby, and we are.